Yo, welcome back to the Nonary game. In the last one, we stopped because I, we got tired. Bye. Clark will be my first priority. I'll come with you. Very well. I'll go check on Alice's bracelet then. And don't forget to, um, retrieve it. We'll likely need it to get through the chromatic doors. Right. Sigma, can you come with me? Shouldn't we decide on a time to meet up? Let's see. When do the doors open? An hour and 21 minutes. Then let's take half of that. What do you say, we all meet back here in 40 minutes? Maybe. Maybe. You're not one to talk. I didn't see you stopping her. A gut feeling, huh? Sure you are not the one who's feeling a connection to our armored friend? I mean, all that plating is pretty flattering to his figure. Are you sure? Have you considered that it might be Luna? Why not? She would have just had to pick Petray. But if she'd done that, do you really think the rest of us would have let her get away with it? We'd probably have tied her up or locked her away or something. Besides, there's no way in hell Alice would have chosen an ally. The only way to get an ally vote from your pair would have been to physically overpower Alice. Or... Trick her like I did with Dio. No, I'm not. I'm just saying the possibility exists. Even if she was, I don't think we'd need to worry about Kay's safety. He's got a full suit of armor. I'm betting he's pretty hard to kill with all that on. Alright, I think that's enough of that. Let's go check Alice's bracelet. Watch Alice is gone. Well, see, she has a key to unlock Kay's uh, suit. Yeah, but she's dead, though, right? Yeah, but let's search her. Clover? Run away! Running away, though I just don't want to talk to you. I forgot where I'm always to I forgot. I don't need to. Why not? I already figured out who did it. I can't tell you. You might be working with them. Both of you could be in on it. Sorry. Wait, okay. Mail. Just care about the credit. Forget about it. There's no point. It doesn't matter what you tell her, she's never going to believe you. Just tell us one thing, Clover. How did you know who it was? I noticed something. And what was that? Alice figured it out too. Before she What was it? Why don't you figure that out yourselves? Anyway, you gotta go. She knows something. Well, she thinks she knows. I don't want to hurt something. What's wrong? Oh, really? That's it? 
Calm down. She's a cyan pear. Yeah. Snuck a peek at it when she ran by. And it looks like Alice's is a blue solo. I'll hold on to this. You mean what Alice noted? Were you even listening? I'm investigating. What does it look like I'm investigating? I'm looking for any clues to what she figured out before she died. Huh. Found something already. Have a look. Looks like it. It's darker than Alice's, so it's probably been on her since before she died. Maybe. Who knows? She could have just found this somewhere for all we know. Can't say for sure, but it's definitely a possibility. Ooh, this is getting interesting. So, time we moved on. We need to figure out what Tenmyoji and Dia's bracelets have changed to. Yeah. Sounds good. So this is where Tenmyoji's team went. How many times do I have to tell you? You don't need to keep asking permission. You mean you came here voluntarily? Can I see the other side of your bracelet? Why? Please. Show me your bracelets again. Hmm. <laughs> that 
That stuff you sprayed us with was luminol, wasn't it? Yeah. How'd you figure that out? I guessed when you turned off the light. Yeah. Just relax, okay? Just to prove that they didn't kill anybody recently. Kill Alice or maybe Quark. Quark's not dead. That's all I needed to know. Neither one of you is Zero Senior. Or that. Are you saying that because there wasn't any reaction from the Luminol? Yeah. Well, you know as much as I do now. I was just making guesses based on what he was doing. Sorry, but I've got to go. I need to go look for Quark. Can't tell you. Yeah? You don't get it. I can't tell you no matter who you are. Right now, we might as well assume Quark is a hostage. Zero Junior seems to be aware of everything. But if I tell you, he'll know. And then go. Please, I'm asking you. Put yourself in my shoes. I was told to try the apple chips. do you any good. Whatever you want to know, I don't know anything about it. Yeah? Then what is it? Oh, I see. You mean his bracelet, right? Chill, man. He's a red solo. I had a look while he was talking. <laughs> well, what is it then? No. No, I didn't. Shut up! We've got stuff to do. Banana chip? I like it. Banana chip? It looks like another warehouse. Probably more graffiti. There was one on floor A, too. Never mind that. There's someone else here. Looks like it. Let's go see what he's up to. Wow. There he is. Oh, nothing. I'm just going with the flow. You don't seem to have any interest in searching for Quark. Why would I? Do we even know he's really missing? Maybe the little shit so I figure? Let sleeping dogs lie, right? Kids, in this case, I guess. If we wake him up, he might realize he's got enough BP to blow this popsicle stand and ditch us. That happens. It's all over. We'll be stuck in here for the rest of our lives. Which probably won't be that long. Take these away from me before I eat them all, please. Put them on my coffee table. Yeah, but what did you just forget? Zero Junior told us, remember? The number nine door only opens that office. It's up. Sorry, it was like over that part. Good. I am too. So, what are you guys here for? Did you bring Phi here so I can kill her? What? Oh, really? You already forgot your little stunt earlier? We're damn lucky Kate chose ally. If he hadn't, he'd be hanging from that crane right now. Hmm. Huh. Sounds like you're getting a little desperate. Word of advice, Dio. 
That's not a smart attitude to have here. All you'll do is make sure that whoever plays against you in the AB game won't pick Ally. Keep talking as if I give a fuck. I already know I won't be up against you too. Kay and I are the yellow pair. You guys are the magenta pair, right? Two pairs can't go through the same chromatic door. Simple enough for you. How do you know our colors? Kay told me. He was here a while ago. Speaking of which, Temioji and Clover were here too. Guess everybody misses my company. Anyway, that's how I know what everyone's colors are. Yeah. What about Luna? Luna? I haven't seen her. Oh. Anyway, Kay and I won't be pairing with you two. We'll be taking the blue solo. Oh, come on. Really that thick? Look at the doors in front of you. These are the next chromatic doors. Bingo. See that thing next to the door there? Yes. Yes, it does. I get it. You and K are both yellow. You can get yellow by adding... Exactly. Right. The only one left is the other cyan pair. So we... No. There's only one option this time. All we gotta do now is wait for these white doors to open. Sorry, but I'm gonna stay moving around so much as a pain in the ass. Right, on my way. Well, you see that clock over there? The one that looks like the sun? It reminded me of something we saw earlier. Remember the graffiti on floor B? You remember what it said? Do you know what that means? What about the other part? Yeah. Did you notice anything strange about that graffiti? Huh. <laughs> Wrong. Maybe you're not the eagle eye I thought you were. I guess I have to do everything. Part of it was spelled wrong. Specifically, they spelled ninth wrong. It should be N-I-N-T-H. But the graffiti had N-I-N-E-T-H. Exactly. Maybe it wasn't a mistake at all. Maybe Zero put that E in there on purpose. Maybe because he didn't have enough letters other... Anyway, if Zero wrote that... Shit. Hey, it's already two minutes past... Ooh, they're always late. <laughs> we should get moving. Astute observation. What do you mean, what should we do? All we can do is wait. We don't want to end up missing each other by accident. Just want to check something really quick. The last time we saw Alice alive, she was right here. 
Remember? She was kneeling down, <clears throat> looking at something on the ground. Find something? Uh-huh. The truth hurts. Hmm. So, blood, huh? Oh my god. From the crane. I noticed something. The same thing Clover and Alice noticed. <laughs> Look at the number six AB room. The side that's facing the wall has blood on it. It's the first thing you think of when you hear blood. Yeah, <laughs> this whole thing kind of sucks, <laughs> yeah. right? Come on! This is no time to be screwing around. I'm talking about this thing. The handkerchief Alice had. There's some blood on it that we assume belonged to the old lady. Consider this for a moment. Let's say this thing was on the floor next to the rightmost AB room. We'll assume that the blood on the side facing the wall came from this handkerchief. Okay, then what? Right. What do you think was going through her mind? Look with it. And? 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 You're almost there. <laughs> yes, exactly. So how long do you think it was here? Wait, when's the start? Huh. Finally figured it out, huh? What? Wait, what? Oh, there was another one. Yeah. Oh! Whoever was in that last one over there. Probably. They moved the rightmost one all the way to the left. Is there a deal? So, what was in the leftmost AB room? And, who was trapped in there when the Nonary game started? Luna? Whoa. What do you think this is? Seems like it. Hmm. This thing? Here, look. You see this line? It's possible that line is from whatever the weapon was. So maybe Luna wrapped the weapon with his handkerchief, and then threw it between the rightmost room and the one next to it. Hmm. Then when the room was moved, it came out. Seems pretty likely. This is all just speculation, understand? There are a whole lot of things we still don't know. I'm surprised the two minutes hasn't came up. <laughs> Interesting. I have to admit, you've got a point. You're going to make me repeat myself. I never said Luna was the killer. Still, I have a feeling Alice thought she was, which would mean that Clover probably does too. Yeah. Right. So Luna wasn't the killer. Because... 
Hmm? Oh, don't tell me Clara's gonna try to kill Luna. You're right. I think so. Sigma, Phi, there you are. I'm sorry, I have some bad news. Luna. Oh. Luna oh, is no. dead. She's in room two in the crew quarters, the same room where Alice was murdered. Oh, that's sad. I didn't think any of these would end up with Luna dead. She was a solo. Oh. She was poisoned. See here, this device is some sort of syringe. I think it's called an injection gun. You can just put whatever you want in one of those vials and then pull the trigger. It's kind of like the needles in these bracelets. The drug they used is the same as well. The label on the vial says tubocurarine. Yes. Since it's empty, I can only assume Luna was injected with it. You see the mark on her neck. I believe it is safe to assume that is where her attacker injected the drug. Perhaps they chose the neck for the carotid artery. Then your guess is probably correct. Luna was injected with tubocurarine and it killed her. I want to cry. <laughs> Should I go get them? What do you mean? Yes? Luna and I split up as soon as we got to floor B. We determined it would be more efficient. Two of us working separately could cover more ground in less time. Alright, so why were you late? What? You didn't show up till 20 minutes past the time we were supposed to meet. Sigma's asking you what you were doing. I was... resuscitating. Let me explain how I found her. I had gone to the warehouse five minutes before our meeting I time. You had yet to show up. As I believe I was standing between the yellow and cyan doors. I think Clover did it. Oh, Some yeah, minutes I later, I it came from behind the cyan door. Well, it was actually quite faint. It was several doors away, after all. And as such, I couldn't quite make out what was being said. Or even if I had heard it at all, it seemed entirely possible that I'd imagined it. I heard no other sounds for a few minutes following this. Eventually, the silence made me uncomfortable. Perhaps something had happened. So, I made my way to the crew quarters. As I entered the hallway, that was when I first suspected something was amiss. You can imagine the rest, I'm sure. I ran into the room and found Luna on the floor. Yes, I deduced that she had been injected with tubocurarine. Her heart had stopped, so I attempted CPR, to the best of my abilities, at least. With this mask, I was obviously unable to provide artificial respiration. Because I had no reason to believe you would be in the warehouse. If you weren't, I would have wasted precious time. I chose instead to begin resuscitation immediately. As you know, even a short time without oxygen, I felt time was of the essence. But... Hey, how much time passed between when you... I'm afraid I can't say exactly. But I would hazard a guess that it was around three minutes. Did you see the killer? No, I did not. That would have been plenty of time. When you leave this room, immediately to your left is a door that connects to the hallway. I assume they left that way. Is there any chance they hid in this room somewhere? No, I examined the room thoroughly before I left to find you. Um, may I say something? Yeah, sure. I'm not sure if this has anything to do with Luna, but there was something I wanted to point out. Look at Alice. Do you notice anything? 
the weapon. Indeed. The wound suggests a knife, but I doubt we'll know now. How would I know? I didn't see it before. Why are you asking me? Hmm. Yeah, that would make sense. Sigma, if you were going to kill someone, which... This is hypothetical. I would choose the injection gun. <laughs> right? Most people would choose that. The more you can divorce yourself from the actual killing. No. I don't know either way. They could have taken it afterwards. There's no way for us to know. It's not impossible. Three minutes is... Anyway. What I was trying to say is that I don't know when they took the knife or whatever it was. We came here to get Alice's bracelet. And then Kay came by later. There was probably about if anyone could have taken it. They might not even have been the same person who killed Luna. Or it could be. There really isn't any way to know. And if we don't know, we really shouldn't try and draw conclusions. That could color our reasoning and that's not good. Conclusions without any evidence are useless. So just forget any conclusions you might have come up with. Save that brain space for something more useful. Well, I think that about covers it. We clear? Good. Anyway, we should tell the others. About Luna, you mean? Yeah. We should go to the white doors then. Dio should still be there. Please, take this with you. Is something the matter? You and Phi are the magenta pair without the green solo bracelet. You won't be able to open the oh, secondary door. Have, we're not then... If you don't wish Luna's death to be meaningless, then you must survive. Or do you intend to die without catching her killer? Good. Wait. Shit. No. Well, not yet. We might be looking at a worst-case scenario. Uh, excuse God, what the hell is wrong with me? How did I miss this? I'm sorry. This is my fault. It's just... Ugh, there was so much going on, I wasn't thinking. Quark. Quark? Yeah, where is he, bud? Yeah, exactly. Oh dear, this is bad. And if they haven't gotten in by the time the primary door shuts, they'll be penalized. If we haven't found Quark by then. Four minutes. Ooh. Let's just go to the warehouse on perhaps Quark has already been found. <laughs> This is long for a short for, for that. It is kind of long. How is this supposed to be the story? I don't know. The Clover one was weird too. Yeah, it's probably past five, four minutes now. I've been here. Look, forget about him. Where's Alice? Which one of you has it? Look around, Ash. What do you think? Hey, pay attention. The bracelet. Do you have Alice's bracelet? Hand it over.
Good. Let's go. Hey, what is this? What, you don't like this door? Fine, we can take a different one. As long as we're in the right. That's not the issue. Then please tell me. What the fuck is the. Being a human being, three of us still haven't arrived. Oh, come on. Now you're gonna grow up. You stay here. You're gonna kill me. But. Three minutes remain. All right, fine. I'll be honest with you. The truth is, I've got. I was told that if I didn't win this I think game. I broke Nuts. You have to trust me. I swear. It's Zero told me to keep my figure. I don't have a lot. I'll tell you more once we please. I don't believe that. I don't believe that. You have to believe, please. If you won't do it for me, if I lose, please. I understand. Let's go. Really? Yes. I have one condi a condition. Yes. But it's not for you, it's Sigma. I want you and Phi to go into one of the doors as well. Dio and I cannot be the only survivors. I would have the two of you join us. That is my condition. Damn it. What do you say? The decision is yours. Use your fucking head for once. You're gonna get us killed. Is that what you want? Me either. I agree with Sigma. We can't just ditch them. I'm staying. Bunch of wow. fucking idiots. One minute. I see. I suspected that would be your answer. You leave me with no choice then. My apologies. Huh? What? sympathy. I wish there was another way. Do you actually... No, of course not. I only wish to save you if I had not forced the issue. Neither of you would have budged. Such is your character. I confess I am not entirely sure. I will think about it during the ten seconds that remain. Goodbye. Two. One. Zero. Chromatic door. Yeah. Can we just... sit here for a moment, though? My body's gonna be fine, but I think I need a little time to get my feelings sorted out. Now. Wow. Holy cow. This is the first time we went through the white doors, though. Mm -hmm. For Luna. We go. Just for Luna. This is for you, girl. Mm, I feel so bad for her. I didn't think she would die. Alright guys, we'll do that in the next one.